Good morning everybody, this is MK and I'm back and today we are looking at Grade 8 Technology Unit 2. So let's get you ready for the exams. Let's go! Electricity produced at power stations needs to be delivered to users cheaply and safely. It is delivered to us by cable and it passes through substations and transformers along the way. Let's look at some key words. Transformer, a device that changes the voltage of electricity. National Grid, the network that distributes electricity. Now let's look at alternating current. Cells and batteries deliver direct current, DC. It is called direct because the current flows in one direction only. Mains electricity, which is the electricity used in homes and schools, is called alternating current, AC. The direction of alternating current changes constantly. Uses of alternating current and direct current. The electricity we get from ESCOM is AC because it is easier to generate and cheaper to distribute than DC. AC is used for devices and machines that operate at a high voltage or that require a lot of power. DC is used by devices that operate at a low voltage or that have a low power requirement such as cell phones, laptop, computers and the circuits we use in technology classes. DC can be saved and stored in batteries. AC cannot be saved. Step up and step down transformers. A transformer is a device that converts high voltage electricity to low voltage electricity and low voltage electricity to high voltage electricity. The higher the voltage of an electric cable, the thinner and cheaper it can be. ESCOM uses step up transformers to raise the voltage of its long distance power lines so that they can be thinner and therefore cheaper. However, low voltage cables are safer to use than high voltage cables. ESCOM uses step down transformers to change high voltage electricity back to low voltage electricity near to users at the ends of the power lines. Step up transformer. Look at how huge this transformer is. And this is a step down transformer. Also massive in size. The voltage of electricity in your home is 240 volts. Generators at power stations produce it at about 20,000 volts almost 100 times the voltage in your home. The voltage of the generated electricity is raised by step-up transformers to as high as 765,000 volts before it is sent out, more than 3,000 times the voltage in your home. Near to your town, the voltage is transformed by a step-down transformer to 11,000 volts. Near to your home, it is transformed to 240 volts. The National Grid The electricity in your home comes from power stations far away. It is distributed via the National Grid, which is a network of substations and power lines that covers the country. The power lines are thick aluminium or copper cables that are supported high above the ground by pylons. 
At substations, which are also called distribution stations, electricity from large power lines is distributed to smaller power lines. And if you look at this picture, you will see an image of a pylon. Here's a map of South Africa showing different parts of South Africa generating power using different resources. Have a look at the legend and try to find at least one of each. Thank you for watching and most importantly learning. This is MK's class signing out.